A lattice plot can be used to reveal any relationships of certain variables conditional on values of other variables. To illustrate, we'll be looking at the data CBR. This consists of three variables. CBR change is the percentage decline in the crude birth rate for 20 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. Effort is an index of effort put into family planning. The higher the number, the more effort a country has put into its family planning programs. Setting is social setting, and the higher the number, higher the social economic levels of a country. Now, it's plausible that CBR change depends on effort and setting. What we would like to do is have a graphical representation of CBR change and effort over various ranges of setting. We can do this using a lattice plot. And here is one I generated earlier. What you can see is that this lattice plot consists of three, in this case, scatter plots. Notice that the y-axis for each plot is CBR change and the x-axis is effort. Also notice that above each scatter plot is a bar. This represents the level of social setting. We read the lattice plot from the bottom left, work right and up. If we look at this, what this is saying is that we've got CBR change versus effort for this range of social setting. So it's from zero all the way to about halfway. If we look at the second one, we see that this represents the shows the uh, CBR change versus effort for maybe medium social setting. And finally, when we reach the top, this is the scatter plot for high social setting countries. We see that the pattern is that for countries with lower social setting, they put in lower effort and unsurprisingly the CBR change, crude birth rate changes, is also lower. Then when we look at medium setting countries, we see that the majority is still quite low, although you have some which put in greater effort, two of them. In contrast, with countries with a high social setting, you see that most of these countries here, except for one, uh, put in a great deal of effort into their family planning program and as a result uh, the crude birth rate changes also declines by a lot. So I hope you could see that this plot here is much more useful than the ordinary scatter plot which just has y versus x. This graph is saying that it represents the relationship of y versus x given a value of this in this case just a third variable. A remark to make is that the variable that we condition upon may be continuous or categorical. Here it is the social setting is continuous data but we've grouped them into three ranges which you might say low, medium and high. To create a trellis plot you'll need to use lattice, so we call it the lattice package. The next thing is I'm using the command equal dot count. This is used to split the setting, which is continuous, into three, which we can put here, three, number equals three, three intervals, where uh, we have an overlap of 10%. So 10% uh, of the intervals have values in common. To understand what this means, let's look at what setting group looks like. So here's the data for setting. It's continuous. What we've done with this command equal dot count is split the interval into three. Here's the first one. So the first one goes from 34.5 to 68.5. It's got a count of seven. So seven uh, countries fall in that band. 67.5, notice that overlaps to 
I've got 8 and 83.5 to 91.5. Um, this number down here, overlap between adjacent intervals, 2 here, tells you that uh, these two here share two uh, countries in common and zero here says that these two share zero uh, countries in common. The xy plot is equivalent to the plot command, uh, the usual plot command, but this xy plot is in the lattice package it will create a trellis plot which consists of scatter plots and each scatter plot will be CBR change versus effort conditional on our variable setting group which we have just created above and those are the commands to create this lattice plot I've shown you how to create a trellis plot out of scatter plots but there are a whole range of other plots we can create out of bar charts uh, box plots and so on. So you can create trellis plots out of any of these and these are the commands above in the grey boxes. Okay I hope that's been useful, why not have a go? Bye!